Hi, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and today we will be learning how to use the Slip Tool in Premiere Pro. So what is the Slip Tool? The Slip Tool is a tool that allows you to keep a clip the same, so the same length on the timeline, but change what part of that clip you're seeing. So if this clip's an hour long, but we have 16 seconds on the timeline, I'm going to be able to use any part of that hour-long clip, but keep it at 16 seconds on the timeline. The slip tool is found over here, this little icon, or use the letter Y. Now let's say that, I don't think that I like that little hint of that beer bottle in this clip. So I'm going to press the letter Y and then hold down and move to the right, to the left. Okay, great. That's the way to go. Now I'm just seeing the, the globe. What is it that I'm seeing actually? This first window represents the first frame of this clip and the second window represents the last frame of this clip. Then I'm gonna let go. So that's already been done. It's done as soon as I let go. If I regret it and I wish I had that beer bottle back, I'm just gonna go back to the clip and move in the other direction. Now this is taking me further, I'm moving left further along on the clip. Now I'm gonna see the beer bottle the whole time. I'll let go. All right, I wanna go back. I decided maybe I wanna the globe and then a tiny, like that. Slip tool. Let's look at this first clip. Maybe I could end that a little bit better. I like the length of it, but maybe I'd like to have a stronger ending. Though I, I actually kind of like that ending, but we'll say for argument's sake, it could be better. And again, I want to keep it the same exact length, but I want it to be slightly different. So let's say, all right, I'm looking, I want to see how that last, Maybe I want to end it with him not quite landing on the ground, like so. Let's see what that looks like. Eh, I don't know. Let's see, maybe a little bit, maybe more up in the air. Maybe that would be more interesting. Let go. And then maybe in the next clip coming in, I could have him still up in the air or about to fall. Let's scroll through this clip. So um, let's look at the, the left box because that's going to be our first frame. So maybe right there would make sense. Let's see. Not bad. Let's watch the whole thing. Cut to the globe and then cut back to him landing. Okay, that could work. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use the slip tool in Premiere Pro. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.